In this lesson, we're going to work on the asymmetrical portion of the frame. All right, so let's go ahead and create uh, the bottom of this. We need to create this uh, last little part of the frame. And there are a couple of elements to this. Uh, one element is the uh, this piece here, which must blend into this piece. Okay, now in order to get this to work, uh, we need to work on one at a time. Uh, this is the most complicated part, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and work on it, and then we'll get that to blend right into this other piece uh, with no issues, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our object, and let's first go ahead and remove that symmetry that's on this. So we're going to right click and convert to edible poly, okay? And then let's go underneath here and let's start. Uh, getting all of this together. Uh, so the way I'm going to go about doing this is I'm actually going to select this edge right here and I'm going to turn on this show end result or uh, isolate excuse me and I'm going to hold down shift I'm going to drag this out to this point okay I'm going to weld those points together hold shift drag it out again to the center okay and then drag it out one more time to this point here and then I'm going to end there. So now let's go ahead and just take those points and let's weld those together. You can right click and just hit weld. Let's do that all the way around. Make sure that we get that back side too. So select those, weld, select these and weld. And then finally, whoops, let's not move anything by accident. And then we'll finally weld those together. All right, great. Now um, let's go ahead and take um, this border right here. So hit three on the keyboard, select that border. And we're going to hold shift and we're going to just drag that straight down. Now, looking at this, if we go ahead and turn off isolate mode, you'll see that we're off on that by quite a bit. Uh, very easy to do. We'll just take these last polygons here on the back side and we'll just push that over right to here. Now, you'll notice here that we really don't see how that's affecting the rest of the mesh. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my left view and I'm going to take those poly or those vertices on the very front edge there. And I'm going to pull those forward in the X just a little bit because I don't think I'm quite out front like I should be. So just go ahead and pull those out. Try to get them as close as possible. We may not be able to get absolutely there, but you can see here that um, all of that's coming together. Let's hit F3 and kind of take a look at your wireframe, see what that looks like there too. Um, so I'm going to take the uh, vertices right here and I'm going to pull those down a little bit so that way they cover up that edge. And then I can definitely see that everything is working out perfectly here. So now let's um, go ahead and take those vertices along that bottom edge right there. Let's make sure we just grab those and pull that down at the Z right here. Now you'll see here in our left view, it doesn't really appear to be matching up. And that's because we've got a little bit of a skew here on our um, high poly mesh. Uh, something has been pulled down there, but uh, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my best here. So let's take these edges on the outside and I'm going to pull that down to meet with that corner. You'll see that corner does pretty well. It looks like maybe just a point here got pulled down by accident, but uh, we can we can work with that. It's not going to break anything. So let's go to 3 and hit border mode. And on this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, hold shift and I'm going to drag that out to this point, but let's go ahead and switch this to local mode and see if we can't get our move tool to to orient to that. It doesn't appear like it's going to do that. So what I can do instead is actually just hit cap on that and then if I go to polygon mode, select that cap there. Okay, you see how that pulls down there? I can just simply extrude that and let me just extrude it just a little bit. Okay. And let's uh, hit OK on that. And you'll see that the angle is off just a little bit there. Um, but that's OK. Let's pull it over in the X and then up in the Z. Try to get that to match up closely to the, the object. And then we're starting to uh, pull away from this edge here. So let's turn off the view. Let's push that back here. And then, let's go ahead and take 
these edges right along the back. Let's pull that down. Boy, it looks like a lot of that got pulled away. But again, we'll just go ahead and we'll we'll work through that. Okay. And then with that polygon there, let's go ahead and extrude. You're going to notice it extrudes off in this really weird direction. Let's try it one more time. Uh, let's try, actually, let's go to polygon mode and then extrude. We'll extrude that. I'm actually going to set my value to zero. And then I'm going to hit OK. Because then what I can do is just pull that extruded edge down like this with no issues. So I'm going to pull that down to right here where that meets at the corner. And then let's go to edge mode. I'm going to select just these edges here along the front. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to pull that back up to meet with that corner. Just like that. Take this, pull that back. Okay, and then go about to polygon mode. We'll extrude that. And then I'm just going to set it to zero, but then I'm going to change this to local. And I'll pull that down in the Z. Okay, and just match that to the reference or to the high poly mesh as much as possible. Go to edge mode, turn off that local and switch back to view. Hit OK on that and pull that over. And then we need to get the rest of this here. So um, let's go to polygon mode and we're going to extrude that. I'm going to do zero as well and I'm going to pull that straight down. Uh, now with this polygon selected right here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make that polygon planar in the Y direction. You'll see it flattens that off there. And then what we'll do is we'll start to continue to extrude that to where it takes this shape here. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and extrude this again. Okay, And I'm going to hit OK on that and then I'm going to pull that down and then pull it over here. Um, then let's go ahead and just rotate that polygon to where it points off in this direction. Now we're going to need quite a few uh, polygons for this, uh, but I'm just going to make a few here and there and then I'll add some segments in um, in just a moment. So let's go ahead and go to our back view hitting V and then K. And let's pull that to right here so it matches. And let's go to edge mode. Double click on this uh, loop of edges right here and let's rotate that a little bit. You may also go ahead and just move these vertices out just a little bit there. Okay. Now let's extrude these. And I'm going to pull that out here. And then I'm going to make this planar in the uh, Z direction. Push that straight down. I'm actually going to set its value to zero on the X. So that way I know it's right at the bottom of that. And go ahead and scale that up just a bit. I'm trying to retain the thickness that we have on this. And then we're going to extrude it one more time. Hit OK. And then I'm just going to move that into position here. And then I'll rotate it to match that angle. And then place it right up there. All right, great. So now with that in place we need to add a few more segments so that way we can match that roundness so let's go to modeling edit swift loop and with this piece um, it's not attached to anything else yet so we can actually hold down shift and we can add in these loops to help with the curvature now for some reason the curvature on that one went up and I didn't want that to I actually want it to go down so we'll just cut it and then we're going to select that edge Double click on it to select that loop and pull it down in the Z until we've matched that curvature there. All right, great. So now we have that in place. Now what we need to do is we need to get it attached to the rest of the frame. But first, we need to build out this little piece here and make sure that we can get all of that to connect. So we'll start working on that next.